Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. <coughs> Excuse me. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Take a couple more minutes and check yourself for breast cancer. Guys, it's not as prevalent in men as it is in women, but it does affect us. So just take the extra time. Uh, you know, when you're showering, check out your lymph nodes and uh, something feels amiss, a little tender or whatever, talk to your doctor. So what are we doing here today? Uh kind of just a hodgepodge cleanup. Um, I've uh, made a few things, I've bought a few things, I got a little of this, a little of that. Nothing to actually make a whole video on, but uh, just enough I can figure out. Put it all together and give y'all something to see. Uh, to start with, we'll go with the hat. Now, uh, I did a video the other day, I got this at the Goodwill was half price so it was like two dollars and 48 cents or something like that it came with a white rope and I wasn't real crazy about it I did like the way that they put the rope through the hat so I took some paracord and I kind of did the same thing I haven't finished it off because I'm not 100% sure I like the way that I got it and it needs to the rope needs to Fit, you know, be stretched to the right shape to fit my big old melon. So, um, there's that. Then I got this, which holds this big camera thing. And carry, I've got a knife attached to the back of it. As an ED, as an everyday carry, it doesn't carry a whole lot. It carries a phone and a knife, but. Maybe I'll figure out something else. Um, it's actually a little awkward. It's supposed to clip onto your belt. It's not. It's not meant to go on your suspenders. But I don't wear a belt. Uh, let's see what else. I've had leather. I've had uh, lighter cases in the past. Um, someone saw one at the bar. Club to the other the other night, well, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and I ended up giving it to her. Um, so I made myself up a new one. Now these things are easy to make. It's just you know, it's just a piece of leather that is folded in half and sewn up, and it's got a mini bic inside. Like I said, easy, easy. So I didn't do a. couldn't find it because it wasn't there. Let's see. I ordered a, a new bag. Oof. God. I was watching Monster's tutorial and he's got a Halloween prop challenge. The first thing I noticed was his bag. And I was like, whoa, cool bag. Where'd you get it? And this isn't his. Or it isn't like his. Um, it's similar. Uh, but I followed the link to the, the, that he showed. And I, I got something that was similar. But um, along with that, I and along with his Halloween Dollar, Dollar Tree Halloween prop challenge. I went back to the Dollar Tree the other day because I needed some material. And um, I was in the looking at the nail polish and I found a nail polish that you can, it's got a very tiny tip for, for outlining, uh, for drawing or not on fingernails. Well, I had been on my way to Michael's to get a paint pen because I wanted to do one of these. Well, for a dollar, I got a silvery, sparkly silver marker pen, and it had purple uh, glitter flakes with it. So the glitter flakes didn't stay real well. I think you need to be, I think you need thicker amount of paint. But I think that looked, I think that came out pretty good. Um, I have a couple other designs in mind. Let's see, we'll put that back. 
Oh. Now, Kirby finds. This is missing the end. Not a major big deal. This is a tension rod. It can come handy for any kind of number of things. Just needs a piece of foam on the end and you're good to go. So there was that. There was also This pair of hiking rods, hiking sticks, walking sticks, it's called uh, Foot Solutions Walk Club Anti-Shock. And it extends out pretty far, like almost as far almost all the way across the truck it will go between the pillars of the truck it has a bendable foot that pops off it's got this little metal piece down on the end for other type of terrain there's two of them they look almost brand new except they don't have the they don't have the little thingy that goes in the end This one is actually missing this cap piece, which I just noticed. But they don't have the lanyard. So I was watching uh, PF Shooter's channel uh, the other night. He does slingshots. He does he does very short videos. The man's amazing. He can toss a quarter in the air, pull his slingshot out of his back pocket, load it, and shoot that quarter out of the air. I mean, unbelievable. Anyway, the other day he took his cane and uh, put a slingshot on the end of it. So I've been thinking about, you know, when I got these, I mean, I only had them in a couple days, but I thought I would use a, you know, paracord or whatever. But now I'm thinking I'm going to make at least one of them into a slingshot. So there was that one and same spot as the the hiking sticks the walking poles or whatever was this and it's it's a it's a micro it's you know it's tiny so but what the heck it works it's in fairly decent shape all the eyes are on it it is a master reel master spectra graphite composite model 3055 GR length five foot so nice little pole I'm gonna have to go try that out uh, what else? Oh, yeah. I actually ordered this. It came in the mail. I picked up a bicycle on the trash uh, a couple weeks ago. And I've been riding it, which is unusual because I haven't been able to ride a bike in ages. Um, I'm up to like a little over a mile, mile and a half, something like that. Which is, uh, I mean, I got a bad heart and a bad back, and um, I think I'm doing pretty good. So, anyway, I bought a, a rack for the back of it. And I've got a set of leather um, saddlebags, supposed to be on a motorcycle. But my son gave me the, the leather bags, and uh, why not, right? <laughs> so. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? No, I did stop at Walmart. I picked up some uh, soda and juice and cheese. Cause the first thing I do when I go into Walmart is I look in their deli section somewhere they will have 
most of them will have a place that they have discounted deli products. And uh, this was 0.23 of a pound, normally $1.49. I paid 74 cents. This one is 0.239 of a pound. It's a dollar fifty-two normally. I pay seventy-six cents. So, for roughly the, the, the regular cost of both of these, for, both, right, for the regular cost of one of these, I got both of these. So, it's almost a half a pound of cheese. I got white and yellow American. White and yellow American cheeses for about a dollar and a half. Grilled cheese sandwiches, uh, quesadilla, cheeseburgers. I can't beat the price. Um, even if I have to, even if I freeze it, but it won't last long. Anyway. Uh, I think that's about it so I'm gonna mosey on out of here I got I, I hate going out there driving in that traffic but that's what I gotta do gotta do what you gotta do if your loved ones are nearby give them a kiss and a hug if they're not give them a call hit them up on Facebook let them know you think about them let them know you love them um, if you're estranged do whatever you can to fix it. Forgive, forget, apologize. Life's too short, people. You may not ever get another chance. It's something you don't want to live with. You don't want to live with that regret. Never miss a chance to tell your loved ones you love them. Till I see y'all again, I hope you have a fan Day. Slaunchy, y'all.